Welcome everyone. Welcome to Sewing Saturdays. Uh, my name is Gina and um, last week we did a little makeup bag that had several uh, two zippers and uh, a pocket on the inside and uh, this week I decided we would be making this bag here. Um, I, I had it in my in my sewing for a little while last year when this fabric came in. Uh, I really wanted to make a, a bag with uh, this fabric. So um, this is the bag that I come up with. So it has, these are pockets that I have here. See they're circular and I like it because it almost looks like the the animals are jumping out of the box, of the, the pocket area. And um, so when you open it, if I open it, so there's several compartments. See, I have, I added a couple pockets in here. And uh, in here has a big pocket also that you can put whatever you want. And you could add more pockets in here also. But I probably wouldn't be, uh, I didn't do too many, I did a couple. There's also another pocket here. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you how to make this bag. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so let's get started with some uh, materials. So I'm going to put the bag here to the side and we're going to go through uh, all the steps as we normally do and I'll be showing you um, all the materials that we need. Okay, so we're going to start with um, all the fabrics that we need for this bag. So I have here, I will be providing this, um, this half circle on the description in the bottom and you guys can print it. This is what I used to draw. My, my circle here on my bag. Um, and then materials. Okay, I'm going to be using uh, zippers by the yard for my top zipper. I'm going to put it here to the side. Then I have two pieces of fabric here. And what you got to do is you have to make it big enough that uh, it will fit your circle. So what I did is I got a really big piece here a square I think this square let's have a look it's um, about 12 if you do a 12 by 12 you'll be okay and you're gonna fold it in half and you're gonna need two of these pieces just like that because we're gonna have to draw two of these for uh, our outside pocket for this outside pocket in inches uh, in centimeters it would be let's have a look about 31 by 31 centimeters so 12 by 12 inches 31 by 31 you're gonna fold it in half and I have two of these two of them one for each side of my back right so I'll put it here to the side. I use little tags that says handmade. So I have two of them. And uh, I'm going to use also those. Then from my strap, I have here two pieces for my strap, for my handle. Sorry about that. I have two pieces here and this is... about this is about let's have a look I'll give you this is 32 inches by three and a half and in centimeters is 38 uh, yeah it's 83 centimeters by by nine and a half okay that's in centimeters and we're going to need two of those. I'm also going to need uh, strapping. Well, you don't have to use strapping. You can stabilize your handles and do it that way. But I'm going to be use strapping because it just makes it easier. So I have two pieces and they would be exactly the same size. What I just mentioned for the handles. So they're here. I'm going to put it to the side also. For my pocket. 
for my pocket what you see here this part here that I use here on the wolves on this one here I'm gonna use this fabric here and this one is is from adventures um, awaits and it's from Winsman fabrics um, if if my pronunciation is not correct in some of these names sometimes when you do with fabric is you know English is not my first language it's actually my second language and sometimes my um, Portuguese kind of takes over and I'll read the name the way I see it and sometimes pronunciation can be a little off I am sorry about that um, so I'm gonna be using that for my pockets and I just have a really big piece because what I need to do with this piece is I'm gonna have to center it somewhere I'm gonna have to center some balloons so I left it really as far as you know as I could I just got a big piece and I'm going to leave it to the side until I decide where I'm going to center my pocket. You know, with what I want in the middle of my, of my pocket here as what I did here with the animals. Okay, so I'm going to also put to the side. You're also going to need some kind of fusible uh, stabilizer for that. And I think I have a piece here. It's a cotton one that I used it before. And it's uh, a Pilon product and is... Um, it's a it's a SF 101 and uh, I'm gonna be using that for my pocket to stabilize my pocket so I'm gonna put this one also to the side then I'm gonna need two squares of my outside fabric two of them and the measurement for that is I have 14 by 14 in centimeters is 36 by 36 all right and uh, we can also put this to the side then we have all her bag pieces so what I have here I picked this one this this fabric is from Northcott and it's called um, Essie's um, I picked two two colors that one for my uh, for my lining and one for my outside because I think it would go really cute with the balloons um, I have four pieces of my main fabric that's what I'm going to be using on the outside of the fabric so I have one two three four and the measurements for that are 19 19 this way and 14 this way okay sorry about that so 15 this way and 19 this way so I have 19 by 15 inches and in centimeters is 49 48 and a half by 38 okay that's in centimeters so we're going to need four of those, four for my main and four for my lining, the same size. My lining would also be the same size, 19 this way by 15 and, um, and uh, we're going to need four pieces. What I did, sorry, excuse me, uh, what I did on my lining, I fused my lining already with uh, my lining I fuse with SF 101 and I fuse all my four pieces I mean you don't have to if you're trying to sell the bag it will become expensive if you fuse every single thing but uh, it, it gives you a little bit more body to the bag so it's not so floppy um, and my main I actually fuse all my pieces also with fusible fleecy and the fusible fleecy that I use is a pillow 9, 987F so if you're wondering what I used so now we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna get started so we're gonna be getting started on our pocket this pocket here okay so I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do that and you're gonna need to do that two times so one for the front one for the back so I have my pieces here so I'm gonna start with two and I already went ahead as you see I already went ahead and as you see I have some drawings here I found my middle so 
and the easier way sometimes to find the middle is fold it. I clipped it here and clipped it there, clipped it there and clipped it there, and then I drew a line across like that. Then I'm going to get my the piece that I mentioned that was for the pocket, okay, that was 14 by 14. The one that was 14 by 14. Okay, I also found the middle and I got my circle here. And the line that I have here, I don't know if you can see, it's quite light, but there's there's a line here that I, I made here. That's my center. I did a cross. So I found seven and seven. I divided seven and divided. And then I got my circle and I drew a line. I put it right in my middle line. And your circle, you should have your middle. If you fold this in half, that's your middle. You're going to put it there right on the middle line with the middle top and then you're going to draw it. All right. So you're going to do that to your two pieces for your outside the fabric. So I have two here that I already did. So then you're going to get that piece and you're going to go here. You're going to center it with the lines that you already had here. As you see, I have a line here that I found my middle. Okay. So I'm going to center that with this here. Okay. Middle and middle. Okay. You mark that, but you have to put is your right sides and your right sides together. All right. I guess because I marked in the back. So I should have marked my lines here that I did here on my lining. It was here in the front. I am sorry about that. I guess it's early in the morning and, um, you know, you get a little distracted and things don't go. So as you see, because I had my little, my little clip there, that was my middle. And my middle is done here also where I have my little clip. Then I have my middle here. That's my little clip. So don't forget that detail. We got to put right sides together. So center to the middle and put the right sides together. Then you're going to pin it. All right. And you're going to be sewing what I was just telling you. Then we're going to be sewing from here all the way around like that half circle that's why we're going to be sewing and we're going to do that twice this one and this one I'm clipping so you're going to go ahead and sew it all right so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and sew those and I'll be right back. So I'm back. So I sew my half circle, put my pins here in my pin cushion. And uh, so, so what are you going to do now? You're going to cut that out. Take all my pins and I'm actually going to use my cutter. And you can definitely use the circle. If you're not comfortable with the cutter, you can use scissors. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then you can go with scissors and make it smaller. those open so here because it's like a like a corner you got to cut that open almost all the way into the seam just be careful don't cut your seam 
then of course because these are circles you should kind of cut little pieces like that or if you have pinking shears you you can go around and cut with pinking shears but don't forget to cut this open a little bit okay okay and then what we're gonna do we're gonna turn this to the other side like that all right and we're gonna take this to the iron and iron okay and press this down all right just make sure you push it neatly and bring the seam right to the edge like that and then you're gonna press it all right so you're gonna end up with a window like that so after you have that done and pressed in both pieces, both pieces that I have here would be doing the same to that, you're going to get your other one that, like, that has the balloons. Okay, I'm just going to uh, put a couple pins on this one so I can center my balloons. I'm going to take it to the iron after, but I'm going to give you your next step and then I'm going to do a bunch of things off camera to so speed up. So when I go off, I can have a couple more things to do. Don't iron this with plastic pins on it because they'll melt. Okay, so. So this would be pressed down neatly. I'm going to get my balloons. I'm going to open my fabric and I'm going to find what I want right in the middle. Okay. Do this after you have this pressed. Okay. It's easier. So I think I'm going to get these ones here, right? These ones right here. I think they will go be nice right under my window. Okay. Maybe not. Let's have a look better. What I would want. Yeah, I think that's my best bet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece off. Just make sure when you cut your fabric, in this case here, the way you, I see it, cut a really big piece because you want this fabric, the inside, to come all the way almost to the bottom here. You know, just a couple inches off because we're going to do a pocket here. So we're going to need fabric in the bottom. Okay. So just make sure you do that. So I'm going to cut it here because I think I'm happy with that. All right. And then I'm going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to find another piece and I'm going to do to, to the same side. And then I'm going to, then I'm going to come back and show you what to do next. Okay. So. Another thing that I'm going to do while I'm off camera, I'm going to do, after I iron this down, I'm going to do a top stitch around here, all the way around here, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. As you see, I stabilized that there. I uh, center my design to the middle of that. And uh, I already went ahead, I did, when I did my top stitch here, I already sew with this fabric on, right? Um, and as you see, I have a fairly bigger piece because I needed to center what I wanted the design. Then I'm going to trim it down. So I did both of them. Our next step, and also, I already stabilized this opening here. And I use, again, the pilon, um SF 101 
that's what I use there and you see it here's a cotton but you don't have to use that one you can use any stabilizer it doesn't matter whatever you have that's more affordable okay so now we're gonna start doing the pocket here in the bottom right so we're gonna do our pocket so um, I'm gonna get this other pocket that I have here where's my the blue one is the one I decided I was gonna do in the bottom okay so don't forget when you sewing this on don't sew this bottom here to this fabric because this is gonna be a pocket this has to be open here so you sew around to here and then here is just a top stitch all right okay so I'm gonna go ahead and sew these on after I sew these on I'm gonna turn them to the right side and I'm gonna be attaching them to here one here and one to the other one so I'm gonna center that with almost like my sewing line here and I'm gonna sew that onto that but of course after I sew my half circle you remember I told you to do half circle on these these fabrics the two pieces that I had here and uh, I drew my half circle my fabric is folded I think I went through that this is that other piece that I had that I folded I did my half circle I'm gonna be sewing leave an opening flip it inside out and then um, after it's it's flipped inside out and uh, I'm gonna trim this area here and then I'm gonna be attaching it to here but I'll be right back and show you the, all that detail all right so I'm gonna take these I'm gonna go back to my sewing machine and I'll be right back okay I'm back so I did my two half circles um, again remember when you're doing your uh, top stitch here I would suggest you do this part here in the bottom first okay then center it to your uh, design okay then you when you do your top stitch from here around you can already sew it to your design all right so it's easier to do it that way and I have my other half pocket that I'm gonna put here so I'm just gonna center that there to my circle put a couple pins and I'm gonna sew this around again don't sew the top leave the, the top open if you want to have a top stitch here you can do that top stitch first and then attach it I'm not even gonna do that because uh, I don't really need to but if you want to you can you can definitely do that so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pin it and I'm gonna take this back to the sewing machine and sew them so I have mine okay and if you see right now I still have I have my stabilizer that I stabilized this part here I have this fabric that I center I'm gonna trim all that down but for now it doesn't really matter it can stay there like that and I'll show you how to trim it um, so we're gonna do the same to this one my half circle and I center it there and pin it to all the layers and we're going to be sewing it on after you sew this on here I'm going to go around and do another seam all the way around like I did on this bag here as you see I did another seam is more for detail you don't really have to but if you want you can do that just to add a little detail I don't know if you actually can see there's two seams there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do that also uh, while I go to the sewing machine and sew that I'm gonna prepare my straps okay because I need to attach my straps to this next so I have my two pieces I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch okay when I'm done sewing that quarter of an inch I'm gonna turn it to the right side so I'm gonna turn this to the right side and then I'm gonna put this inside okay inside of my strap 
after I sew it and turn it to the right side, I'm going to attach this to the inside. You can use a pin, um, a safety pin, put it here and then slide it in. So I'm also going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I saw the blue pocket, Let's trim some of these threads and So I have my two pieces that I sewed and I have my two pockets here. What I'm going to do is, this is where you can attach your handmade over here between all your layers. But before what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually trim this around my circles. You see the back? Now I don't need all that extra fabric. Of course I'm not going to cut my front fabric, it's just all the extra stuff that's there that we don't need. This can also be cut around the circle. Make sure you don't cut your front fabric, okay? Because then your bag is ruined. All right. Put those pieces to the side and we can use it for another project. Trim all your threads. Of course here I use whatever uh, thread I had in the sewing machine. It's always good to match your threads because um, your project looks better. In the back it doesn't really matter. Here I tried to match it but so this is done. So now I need to attach my handmade. If you don't want to use any hardware you're going to take it to the sewing machine and sew just a couple stitches up and down here just to hold the secure like this because if you leave the pockets like that it, as you see this is too much it, you wouldn't be able to put too much in it so your best bet is you can sew a couple stitches here or you can use something like that and to do that it's very simple you find your middle You find your middle, there's this little clip here, you find your middle and with a seam ripper, of course you'd have to find your middle first. So I have here, it's backwards, all right, let's see, we have about ten and a half, so five and about a quarter. That would be my middle. So I would mark it there and then I would center this to the middle. I would draw a little line. Sim ripper, you're gonna make two little holes there. Okay, and then this goes through the little holes. Do you see that? That goes through your little holes here through there and then you attach this to the to the back and turn it and you know turn this in okay so i'm gonna do that in a little bit but right now i'm gonna i have other things that i need to get to explain to you guys first because time runs away from you so we need to attach the zipper so i have the zipper here and we're going to do exactly as if you had watched my other video, I, I'm going to just cut a little bit extra, I would say about this much extra than my bag. And because I'm using by, by the yard, I'm going to open my zipper and I'm going to put my teeth down. I'm going to measure about three quarters of an inch in, in each side, and I'm going to mark that. And I'm going to touch my zipper the same way that we did last time. So, let's see. About three quarters of an inch would be here. And three quarters of an inch will be about here. Okay, and you're going to mark that in both front and back. So you're going to go ahead and remember how the teeth, it's going to go down, 
So this teat here, that's the right side, is going to go down. And we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did when we did the, our last bag. So we're going to go here, match it to that little pin, that little marking that I did. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put it right on the marking, what I have there. So I actually can do slightly bigger. But I'm going to put the pin right in my marking. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can fold it out like that. Okay, if it's easier, just fold it out. See, I'm folding it out right on my line. That's my little line, three quarters, and I'm going to go ahead and fold it out. Okay? And then I'm going to go here, when I get to this end, instead of where my little marking is, I'm also going to put a pin there, right on my marking. And I'm going to sew this. Then I'm going to get a piece of lining. And my lining, I was using the blue. I'm going to grab a piece of my lining. And I'm going to go sew on top. All right? That, that. But you can sew this first and then sew this on top because sometimes it's easier. It's easier to when the zipper is already attached there. All right? So you're going to do that to that part. Then you're going to do the same thing to this, this one. So three quarters. Let's see. Three quarters and three quarters. And you're going to get the other piece of zipper that you just had there. My other piece. Okay, my other side again. The teeth down. And this is where now you have to pay attention. Because when I sew this, I want to make sure they match. So if I sew this and I turn this to my to this side, okay. So I need my zipper to I would need my zipper to match here. Okay? Right? So this would have to be like this, right? So if I put these my zippers together so I don't get confused and I know I have to sew on the wrong side, then this, when I turn to this side, I'm going to start actually from this side now instead of, so zipper down, and now I'm going to touch the opposite side, and my other one is going to be to this side. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go to my line, put a pin, turn it like that. Okay, and then this end pin it and then down okay then you're gonna push it out of the way so you don't sew it in then you're gonna go ahead and sew that get another lining put it on top and sew it all right so remember this one I started from here and this one I started from here because when they go right side together they got a match all right so I'm going to go ahead and sew my two zippers and my lining and I'll be right back. So I'm back. So I attach my zippers. As you see, I am not going to be doing a top stitch at this point because we're going to be doing a top stitch in the end. So as you see, I attach my 
my zippers and I put my lining on. So what I'm going to do now is I need to attach my straps. Um, I have my straps here that I had already told you how to do it. Um, so I'm going to find where I'm going to touch them. So what you're going to do is you're going to go about one inch and a half down. Let's get, let's see. From your zipper, from your folded fabric, you're going to go about one and a half inch down. Let's see. I think we're going to go about two inches down. From the fold fabric, about two inches down. You're going to do a marking. And two inches. And then we're going to go about five inches in. Okay? Five inches in. That's all about 12 centimeters. And five inches, let's see. Five inches. About there. So we have it about here. You can also, and then what you're going to do, you're going to touch your strap, almost touching that, that circle that we have there and we're going to put from the five inch that we measure in we're going to put the edge of our strap there and the two inches down we're going to put it there and make sure you your strap is not twisted And of course, we're only going to touch that to the outside, not to the lining, okay? And you're going to do that to both, both sides, okay? You do the same measurement, you're going to do to that side, and then you're also going to do to this side, same thing, all right? Okay, and you're going to go take to the machine, sew it. So how the way I do mine, I sew a little bit back and forth. Then after I sew that in, I fold it. And then I re-sew it here and here. All right, that's what you're going to do. So sew it, sew it, and then fold it, and then sew it there and there. All right, so you're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to put these to the sides and work with the other pieces. Okay, so now I have my two other main fabrics that I have here uh, that's still the outside. Uh, and these two pieces that I have here, as you see, I already drew some stuff here. So I drew here, from here to here, I did two inches in, two inches up, and my top, I did one and a half. And then I also went here and I drew my corners. And this little square is one and a half inch. So it would be four centimeters by four centimeters. And this would be five centimeters by five centimeters, five centimeters. And here is about three and three quarters. About four centimeters, sorry. All right, so one and a half inch, three centimeters four centimeters and this would be five centimeters so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these together like that and I'm actually gonna do in all my pieces I'm gonna cut these corners off and also the other ones that I already did for the front I'm also gonna cut these off so I have my squares done put them even together I already had my two pieces Before I do this here, I'm going to get another lining and what I'm going to do, I'm going to touch right sides and right sides together and I'm going to sew this across here. And then of course I can go ahead and, okay, I'm going to put those together and cut it and sew, so right side and right side, we're going to sew across and on the side that has the one and a half. That's what we're going to sew. 
and on the bottom here that we have the two inches we already cut our corner of the bag we also gonna cut this corner also we're gonna do the same with this one we're gonna put right sides together and right sides all right okay but if you notice this one had the, a drawing this one doesn't so you only need it in one of them okay so I'm also going to put these two together and do a top uh, a seam all the way across to attach my linings together. So I'm going to go to the machine and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I attach the linings to my other two outside fabrics that I had since I had four. And um, so now I'm going to Go ahead and cut my other corner here on this bottom one. Match them. Do that. And also this one, you remember I told you one of them had to have these measurements. So I'm going to move all the stuff to the side. I'm also going to cut this corner here. Okay, so what are you going to do? We sew the top, so we end up with a big piece like this. And the one that has the lining, you're going to put it here. And this one, you're also going to open it. Same thing. The red to the bottom and the blue to the top. We're going to go here. We're going to put it on top of each other. All right. We're going to match our seam here where I just sewed. We're going to put a pin there. Okay, match them nicely. I'm gonna put a pin and a pin on this side. I just sewed just to keep things centered. I'm gonna bring my two fabrics down together like that and those together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be sewing from there, from that top here down this is the side that I had that was one and a half and this is my two inches so I'm gonna be sewing here secure really well because this is gonna be a pocket you're gonna sew down across and up again here secure really well and I'll be right back so I'm back so what I have here so I saw that so if you see if I put this like this This is my pocket. Okay, see, it's my pocket. That's gonna be inside the bag. So what I'm gonna do now, I need to attach this to my outside fabric. I already went ahead and I already secure my straps in place. So you see, I sew them in. You can put some hardware like I did on these. You know, but these needs a lot of tools and one of these days I'll show you guys how to install that in a smaller project. Um, so I'm just going to leave these like that for now and I still need to attach my uh, my little handmade but I can do that after. Um, so what we need to do, so we need to attach that to that. So we're going to do like we did the other bag. I know if you remember when we did the other bag. We're going to turn this all like that. This goes in here and this all is going to go in here like that. But we can't really put pins because when we turn it inside out, you can end up hurting yourself. So you're going to go there. You're going to find your right side of your bag. It's going to go down. So see how I have it? Two linings together the way I sewed. This would be my pocket. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this pocket back, right, like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold all this in. I'm just going to leave this the bottom part open. So, and then I'm going to bring my bag. Handles, doesn't matter what side they go. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to go here. And we're going to put these together. All right. So, I'm going to go here match this. My seam here. So, I'm going to put a little pin here. And see, I'm going to keep folding that in. 
and I'm gonna pin it as you see here I had my corner there what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut also that corner there and I'm gonna pin it all the way here right fold this in that one in see I'm gonna fold that in I'm gonna bring this down match my fabrics put another pin do the same thing here make sure this is folded in all the way in bring your fabric down match it okay zipper in and we're gonna match the seam make sure you match that seam nicely and make sure you don't catch that zipper okay so I'm gonna put my pin here and I'm gonna go ahead and sew this around so the only parts I'm not gonna sew you see here I didn't I didn't trim these off yet so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this corner here and here do the same to this one instead of measuring I'm just cut it to the same size you could measure and have them all cut ahead of time then you're also gonna pin your lining and what are you gonna do and cut also the corners in your lining okay and we're gonna need to leave an opening here in the bottom to turn it inside out okay so make sure you don't forget that so I'm gonna go ahead and sew this I'm just gonna fix this up here so I can put so I can trim my other so I could trim my other corner need to trim also this one here and I'm gonna go ahead and sew quickly all the way around okay so I'm back I sew all the way around the only part I didn't sew was my corners okay and I left an opening here in the bottom to turn it inside out so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and match my seams here one to one side once and sew all my corners this one this one just make sure all your fabrics are uh, the other part that we folded are away from where you need to sew and we're gonna go ahead and sew this match the seam and sew it when you put it together you make sure you the other part that we had inside that we folded make sure it's not caught on that seam okay again one to one side, one to the other, nest your seam like that. And I'm gonna put it in like that. We're gonna sew that. Okay, I'm gonna go sew those and bring it and turn it to the other side. Okay, so I'm back. I sew all my corners. If you have any threads, please trim them up. Um, I'm a little bit rushing. I have to open the store in a, in a little bit. So um, I'm going to trim everything that I can. So I'm going to go here through the opening that I left. It looks like I left it very small. I'm going to open slightly a little bit more because otherwise, okay. So we're going to bring everything out. Ooh, just be gentle so you don't rip your whole bottom up. open. So when we turn it inside out, this is where we're going to end up with. You see, this is my lining from this side here. That I can push it in. And then I have one of my sides done. All right. So now we need to do the same thing for the next side. So we're going to make sure all this is inside. And we're going to grab our other piece 
that we have here are other outside and of course outside on outside together you can also leave the seams the the straps to there okay and again we're gonna go here make sure all this this bag here that we already saw it's all inside and we're gonna match all of these and again we're gonna have to cut our little corners here after we pin first pin it okay first you're gonna go ahead match your seam put your zippers in all right put your zippers in match your seam and match your seam And you're going to do exactly the same thing that we did to the other one. You're going to put everything in, match everything, cut your corners, and sew all the way around and leave an opening here on our lining, another opening. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. So I'm back. I sew all the pieces. And um, I'm going to flip it to the other side, turn it to the other side. Of course, you're going to have to sew all those openings on the lining. And I'm going to leave mine open for now because I'm still going to touch some hardware on it. The little handmade tag and stuff. So, you know, you fix it up through your lining. There's your corners here in the bottom. Okay, that's your bag. So you have this pocket here, this one here, and that one there. On this one, I didn't touch any other pockets, but you could add pockets to your lining before you attach all those pieces together. You could definitely do that. Our last step now is uh, putting the... Um, putting the this part here of the zipper on and I know if you ever done that before there's tons of videos online how to do it so I would match my zipper the best I could and put them evenly together All right and one of them you cut a little piece off then all you have to do is slide one in but this takes practice slide one side in then you would bring your other side that you just cut hold it and pull all right that's how you add it okay before you attach this though however uh, you're going to iron it and do a top stitch. So you're going to fix all your fabrics here. And then since this doesn't come all the way to the top, we have enough space here. As you see, there's enough space there to do a top stitch. So you're going to do one all the way around, around your zipper and everything, and the other one all the way around. Then you attach that. And what I did on mine, I also trimmed this off. And I attached a little piece of fabric to the end. See, I add a little piece of fabric to the end of the zipper and the bag is done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we'll see you next Saturday for another video and happy sewing everyone. Mm -hmm.